So the Met Gala was last night and this is my helper, my sister. And I wanted to make a Met Gala outfit. I didn't know who's I was gonna do until I watched the red carpet. And I loved what Kim wore. I haven't seen a lot of people love it, but I really loved it. So we're gonna make Kim's Met Gala dress and it's gonna be very hard. I decided going into it, it's not gonna be an exact recreation. It's gonna be an interpretation because her dress was made out of metal and I don't have the time nor the money nor the resources to source that or hand make it by myself because we're going to California in a week and I wanna finish it before the week is over. So let me show you what we've got and she's gonna help me because time is of the essence. My first step was tackling the fabric. We just got back from Joanne's and this is what we got. So bodice is going to be, or not the bodice, the corset. Well, let me preface by saying we decided the easiest way to do this for the metallic look, we we're gonna paint everything. So we got metallic paints from Michaels. We got sterling silver and silver, and we're gonna paint everything. So ignore the colors, but for this corset, we got this textured um, brocade fabric and we're gonna paint it silver. And then we got this bridal lace fabric to mimic her skirt and we're gonna paint this silver too that's why my sister's helping me because it's gonna be too hard to do by myself paintbrushes oh we don't have paintbrushes we, we can't go back in we can't go back in <laughs> uh we had some paintbrushes we'll figure it out so we're gonna try to tackle this make it in a week when i say we i mean my sister is gonna help me paint but like i'm gonna sew it it's gonna be really hard getting the shape i'm gonna have to do a lot of padding in the hips and yeah. bust region a but lot. i think i can yeah i don't have much going on but i do think i can get my waist pretty small like i can tie a corset pretty tight the hardest part's gonna be the corset the skirt's gonna be easy and it's gonna be really time consuming painting but we're gonna tackle it so we have weekend. i've not been this excited for a project in a really long time so i'm feeling really excited to do it because i've been super unmotivated and i wanted to talk about something i'm going to try to get my waist small and i do not think that's a bad thing and i do not think it's a bad thing that Kim did it. I've seen a lot of discourse and everyone's mad that her waist was really small. Um, but first of all, she has a fake butt. It's very fake, like it's fake. So the proportion from her fake butt to her waist is already gonna make it look more extreme. And also Vogue posted a video of her getting ready for the Met and you can see her dress and there's padding in the corset. I pulled out my corsets and crinolines book to kind of pull some examples. Uh, I'll have to look through it to find something to show you. But they did pad corsets out to give that extreme shape um, in the Victorian era, era and in all the different eras. Um, so it's, honestly not that weird i mean she probably did she did tight lace it a lot but i don't think it was a bad thing and i don't think it's a bad thing that i'm doing it you guys should check out this book um but yeah we're gonna be padding out the corset way more than she did because i don't have anything she has and i'm using an arania black corset pattern for this that i have adjusted i've lengthened it out and shortened it unfortunately about a year ago she did close down her website so this pattern used to be free but it is not available anymore so i'm so sorry her patterns were amazing i I don't know why she shut down, but you can't get them anymore, which is unfortunate, but I do have all the pieces cut out. So today we're tackling the corset. I wanna show you guys the pattern. It looks truly crazy. This is what I've done to it. Okay, so here it is. You can just tell by looking at that, that it's gonna be extreme. You can obviously see the waistline is quite small. And then I have the hips going out very big. So it's the hips I have at twice the waist. I think that should give a good enough effect. So instead of following, it's supposed to be very subtle going out. I have it going out a lot. So there's six pieces. I'm gonna work on sewing these together. And again, don't mind the fabric, which is very much not silver because we are gonna paint it. I think I'm gonna spray paint it and then go over it with the special paint I got from Michaels. But yeah, today I just kind of really wanted to do the corset and get it all figured out. You can definitely see the shape taking form just in the lining alone. It's gonna be like this because there's actually cups on the corset. So it'll be like that. You can see once it's really cinched all the way closed then this will be padded out it'll give the effect it's been like an hour and then sewing on the very last corset piece for the outside this is how it's looking um i've also been doing the boning channels as i go along but hers it's like alexa pause 
I don't know if there's boning in every channel they're sewn, but like the whole thing is boning channels. So once I add the lining, I'm going to sew even more bony channels and I think I'm just gonna add as much as I can. Of course it's not totally done, but I did try it on to see if it was working. And this is about as tight as I can go right now. But I think it looks pretty good once this is padded out. And so next I need to add on the cups and then we'll try it on again, but it's turning out. I can barely breathe, but it's okay. I just picked up a few more things. I'm gonna finish the corset today. This shape is amazing. I need to pad it out though. It's a little bit funky. And the top, I see why Kim used that sweater to cover up because like it's almost inappropriate. So I might come up with like a sweater alternative. I got silver bias binding for the edge. I got silver lacing ribbon. I got polyfill, because I'm gonna have to make myself a fake button hips. <laughs> and then at Michael's, I got two of these metallic um, spray paint things. Originally, I was just gonna spray paint the corset and then paint extra details on it with the paint I got, but then I realized, I think that it would be better for the skirt if I spray painted the whole fabric silver and then went over with the paint so that it's just more even because right now it's like some of the white is showing through and if I spray paint it it'll be totally silver so today I want to finish the corset so that I can get a real posted for tomorrow and then the skirt is gonna come together really quickly in a very me fashion I did not finish this dress before I went to California and I was supposed to be in California for three days I accidentally stayed for 10 days. Whoops, I did have a business deal, so I had to stay. I got one and I had to stay longer. With that said, um, I'm finishing this up because I'm going back to California in like three weeks. So I just wanna get this over with because I have a new design I wanna to start to take to the beach. So today we are working on the skirt. And I also found the perfect fabric at Joann's. We're gonna make the shawl to go with it. It's like this knit fabric. It's gonna be perfect. The skirt I'm making so simple. I'm making it a tube and I'm just going to cinch it in like around my legs and waist. I don't even think I'm gonna put a zipper in it. I think I'm gonna do a hook and eye. It's gonna be very easy. And then I'm going to make some sort of cardigan with this, hopefully to finish it today. I wanted to go do a photo shoot this evening, but it is, I don't know if you can hear it, it is incredibly windy outside. So I don't think it's in the cards for today, probably tomorrow, but I really want to finish this because I'm really excited about my next project. So I got the skirt mostly figured out and this shawl thing, it's not really going to be a shawl. So I got half a yard. I cut out these uh, rectangles that are going to be for my arms and I flipped the camera around. So basically this is what's left of the half a yard and I have this, which is for the arm. So what I'm doing is sewing the arm to the remnant of the half a yard. I'm gonna sew it right side to right side, like kind of like right here along this line. I already did it on this side. And then once it's sewn to there, I'm gonna sew only this sleeve into a tube. So, it looks kind of like that. And then it's just a rectangle in the middle and then I'm just gonna wrap it. Okay, try this on with me. I haven't tried it on yet. Let's see, let me turn this right side out. Isn't this fabric like kind of perfect? It's not super pilled. Okay, so <laughs> it's a rectangle with two tubes on either end. And basically, pull this up here, pull this up here, flip it around. Okay, if I hold it, um, no me gusta. No me gusta. Let's see. Oh, let's see. That's all I know how to say. Let's let's see. If I can just hold it tight enough, it'll work fine. This is just like, it gives the vibe, it's good enough. 